Hello, my name is Austin Willman, and I'm head programmer at Roscoe Plot Tech. You are about to see some amazing coding that is featured in our robot, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's take a look at the E4P use program. This block right here starts the two speed transmission on a low of 50%. This block right here controls the speeds of the lift motors. This is the latch block. This block holds a constant speed until button 6 up is pressed. This is the MATLAB function block. Inside, it contains coding that allows the motors to have two different speeds with a single press of a button. This block right here controls the direction of the right and left motors. This block is the invert block. It reverses the rotation of one of the motors, so whenever the motors are facing each other, they will spin in the same direction. This is one of two of our product blocks. These blocks multiply input of the MATLAB function block by input from the joystick. This is the motor block. This allows us to set the port number. Now this button is digital 8 right, and this controls the speed of the rotating base on our robot. Now the latch programming and the MATLAB function are identical to the one you see above. And this controls the direction of the rotating base of our robot. This is the speed control for our extending arm. And as you see, it is digital 8 up. And this controls the direction of our extending arm. This line of code is used to code the gripper. This block right here starts the gripper in the open position. As you can see, Digital 7 Up controls the opening and the closing of the gripper. This latch button holds the gripper's position until 7 Up is pressed. And this is the MATLAB function block that was used on our gripper. And it sets the direction of the servo which opens and closes the gripper. And this block right here is the servo block. And it sets the port number for the gripper servo.